In this course, we'll explore the role of law from a law enforcement perspective. Our laws serve as written embodiments of society's ethics and morals. Laws are said to be declarative as well as active. They declare correct behavior and serve as a tool for law enforcement. Well, natural law refers to the belief that some law is inherent in the natural world and can be discovered by reason. Positivist law refers to those laws written and enforced by society. This type of law is on human construction and therefore fallible. Early codes of law did not delineate between what we now distinguish as public wrongs, criminal laws, and private wrongs or torts. Criminal law is more closely associated with enforcing the moral standards of society, yet it by no means is comprehensive in its coverage of behavior. Laws, in the form of statutes and ordinances, tell us how to drive, how to operate our businesses, and what we can and cannot do in public and even in private. They are formal, written rules of society. Yet, they are not comprehensive in defining moral behavior. Good Samaritan laws make it a crime to pass by an accident scene or witness a crime without rendering assistance. Some states do have laws called Good Samaritan laws, but they are civil and protect medical professionals who stop at an accident scene and administer aid to victims. Law controls behavior by providing sanctions, but also, perhaps even more important, by teaching people which behaviors are acceptable and which behaviors are not. Law is the final word, but it's also dynamic, shifting to reflect changing belief systems. Just as important as a tool for behavior control and change, the law provides a blanket of protection for individuals against the power of the state. 